So welcome back, friends. So one of the things I've been really excited about uh, doing this summer is going on some of the, some great adventure rides. Uh, I guess an adventure ride for me is uh, maybe a, a one night or a two night overnight going across country, going really remote areas on a motorcycle, you know, no pavement, off-road, uh, and exploring, um, getting off the beaten track, so to speak. So one problem with that, uh, if you're riding um, traditional dirt bikes, is uh, how do you carry the stuff you need to carry? Because you have to carry a sleeping bag, and you have to carry a tent, and you have to cooking utensils, and spare clothing, and warm, and, and all that sort of thing. And so it kind of uh, mystified me. So I've done this in the past, and I went with a group of guys uh, years ago, probably 14 years ago or so, and I got some bike, we got some bike panniers, you know, the, like saddlebags that, that guys used to use on the old 10 speeds and stuff. And that worked pretty well uh, until we were going along and a good friend of mine, um, uh, uh, his pannier caught on fire uh, and burned up his tent and sleeping bag and he had a pretty miserable trip the rest of the time. So I, I don't want that to happen, so I think I found something uh, that is pretty cool uh, that I want to share with you that I'm going to install uh, that is, uh, is going to be just the thing. So this is the solution. All my <laughs> all my my buddies that I've been riding with, I asked them about it, and like, there's only one there's only one word you need to know, and that's uh, Moscow M Moto. It's a local Pacific Northwest company that has designed some amazing, amazing stuff where you can take these bags um, and still ride really aggressively and take the things you need to do. Very lightweight, very well built, everything waterproof, all uh, seam welded. I mean, it's really, really nice stuff. So I'm going, going to install this really quick. Check this out. There's a little heat shield uh, so you don't uh, catch your bags on fire. Uh, let's start with that. We'll, uh, we'll install it together, we'll pack it up, we'll see if we can get our tent and everything in there and uh, how, it, how it performs with a ride. We'll start right there. We, we may end up needing to, to move that, but I think that's probably pretty cool. That's actually pretty clean, nice little unit there. I would I'd just leave that on there. It doesn't bother me a bit. Okay, so out of the back of this, they call this thing here the, the beaver tail, uh, are two straps. And these straps need to mount to, these are the only holes that we need to drill, these little clips here, because this is going to keep it, seems to me, it's going to keep it from sliding forward. And then, so we need to mount these. So we have a couple, we got to decide here. We can put them on the fender, uh, which I don't think I want to do. What I think I'll do is, this is a, an inner fender right there, a mud guard there that just holds a tail light. Um, and that's going to be a little bit cleaner. I think what I'll do is I'll think I'll just mount that there. It'll be a little bit more out of the way. So I measure both sides off the back. The, the seam, mark them with my paint pen. And we'll drill our hole right in the center there. Thread that through there and Get it mounted. I'm not sure exactly where, you know, for, front to back, exactly where that's going to go. We'll have to kind of get it situated and see what's in it and riding position and all that. So these will go here, back through here. It doesn't matter that those are just threaded into that piece of plastic there because it, it doesn't, the weight is held up here by the subframe. This is just to uh, keep it from sliding forward. Now for the front, how's this work here? I'm assuming, oh, this is nice. These buckles are all, um, they're all metal. So these will just pull tight right there and that'll pull up against those rear straps. So I think I've got everything installed and this is so, so clever. Okay, so these are, there's two of these. These are the dry bags. So if you haven't seen a dry bag, we use these in rafting or kayaking. It's a, it's a seam, all the seams will be welded. Um, and then how, how they work is you roll them up uh, like this and then they buckle, they buckle over. Pretty much universal. It's got a window in there, it's kind of cool. You can see what's, uh, what's what. So this is the bulk of the gear that I have to take with me. Um, we've got Thermarest, we've got two days worth of food. We've got a very small uh, tent, but maybe not small enough, tent and fly, uh, sleeping bag. Uh, personal items, a uh, cook stove with coffee, um, and uh, some rags and some flip-flops for camp. And I don't have my clothing yet. I'm gonna, not going to be able to take maybe just one change, but let's see, if, so let's see how all this stuff fits first uh, and how much room we have uh, to take like, oh, one luxury item, an inflatable pillow. Um, but this is, uh, is going to be tough. 
All right, in the first dry bag, I was able to get uh, the pillow, the thermo rest, and the tent. So I'll, ro I'll roll this up here. It's gonna stick out the back a little bit. I guess that's all right. Not gonna hurt anything. Oh, that is so clever. So I can take this loop, pull it in, and that is that. Oh, this sleeping bag is somewhat optimistic. I, I don't like to be uncomfortable when I sleep. I'm getting old and soft. Uh, so my sleeping bag is a little big, bigger than, than it probably should be. But where there's a will, there's a way, huh? All right, so I mean, that's it. There's absolutely no way I'm getting anything else in there. What, I got the sleeping bag in there, I got the foot flops, and I've got two days worth of food. No room for personal, I'm gonna have to do something different with that. Um, let's go put this in and see. This is, even this might be too long. I was only to get like one roll in the top. Boy, oh boy. Do I have an, I, I, don't, I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough strap to, oh man, decisions. Decisions are gonna be hard, be hard decisions are gonna to have to be made. That's not gonna fit. Oh my goodness, what am I gonna do with that? All right, obviously the food is not going to fit in there. So we'll, let's go with the sleeping bag, personal items, and the coffee stove, titanium cup. Flip flops are out. We'll put the, the blue towel in there. It doesn't take up much space. Crush that down in there. Now we can, yeah, now we can get it. A proper roll down and I didn't I don't think it would even have been waterproof the way I had it before now it will be now we should be able to have get our loop around there so we're down to our very last bag and it's already half full so I got the food in there uh, and the flip-flops uh, this is absolutely the minimum uh, clothing so I've got a uh, one t-shirt, a 100% wool t-shirt. Rolling is the best, I'll put that in there. We've got a pair of icebreaker long johns, in case it gets cold. We can wear these around the camp, right? Or at night, if it gets super cold, we're gonna be up in the mountains. So those, <laughs> that's looking all right there. So we got a pair of camp pants. Uh, I'll throw a belt in there. So these are pretty thin, light. We'll roll these in here. These are kind of sh shorts, pants combo. Oh man, it's stack stacking up. One bandana, pair of socks I gotta put in there. One pair of, extra pair of underwear. Man, I mean that is, that is, absolutely bare minimum a little beanie which is in the really light beanie and then a down i gotta you gotta have this it's cold uh a down jacket that i can wear under my enduro jacket or around camp is that gonna make it there is nothing nothing to spare here let's see if i could get this velcroed <laughs> that is all she wrote right there. Our last bag, clothing and food. And, oh, actually, we have, a, we have more storage that I, that I didn't consider. Check this out. There it is. The last bit of unused storage. The goggle bag. <laughs> I don't know what I'll put in there. I'll, I have to save that. Okay, so uh, we got, so let me move the camera. We got the fuel, let me show you the fuel bottle. Here's the fuel bottle storage. I think maybe it wasn't quite clear. Uh, the fuel bottles, if you haven't seen them before, they're the same ones they use for camping, for backpacking, mountaineering, those red ones, those um, MSRs. This is just a representation there, but that will go in there like that. And that will be a, those were our quart each. And those will go in there, and then this will roll up here and those will fit in there. Nice thing about it is it, it's, on the, it's on the bottom of the pack. So if, it's doubtful that they'll leak, but if there were a leak, um, that you're not going to contaminate what's on top of it, it's gonna drain down. So that's, 
very thoughtful. So that's it, everything's on there. The only thing else that I need to take, of course, I have my, uh, my backpack, which in there will be uh, four liters of water and uh, tire pump, um, some snacks, uh, satellite beacon, um, tool kit, spare parts, that all, I carry all that on my back. It's my normal riding kit, so that takes care of that. But I'm really happy with the way it all uh, turned out. It's uh, rock solid. I mean, you could, you could practically pick the bike up with it. I mean, it doesn't move around. All of the, all of the straps have uh, little keepers on them, so there's nothing flapping. Um, it's, it's super good, super good. So riding, um, I mean, I, I, I ride up here, so I don't feel, I, I, I don't even know it's there. I weighed it, it's about, uh, what would we say, 22, 23 pounds, 23 pounds, 24 pounds, I think, somewhere around there. Uh, but it's good, it's good, it's just, it's not in the way, it doesn't hinder. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit extra weight on the back, uh, but um, this isn't uh, full on uh, hardcore riding, it's gonna be more adventure exploring and, um, on single track, and I think it'll work great. I don't see any problems. So I'll I'll bring. Uh, I got a new action camera, and I got a mount set up for it. So I'll uh, I'll shoot some video and share that with you. I think it'll be fun. I going with a group of guys that I've I've never ridden with before. I don't know. So um, at the Pacific Northwest Dual Support guys. So um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video.